my name is Alyssa and in today's video I'm going to show you four delicious crock pot meals. So it's the middle of the winter and that means crock pot season. Crock pot meals are one of my favorite meals to make because they're so easy. You put everything in the crock pot in the morning, you set it at the temperature and the time that you need it, and then you come home after a long day and you have a delicious hot meal ready to go for you and your family. So these four meals are very easy to make, they're very family friendly and delicious, and they're also pretty affordable. I know right now with the prices at the grocery stores, things are so expensive. So I'm sure just like me, you're trying to find delicious meals to make for you and your family that aren't gonna cost an arm and a leg, and these meals offer that. So with all that said, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go get cooking. So we're gonna start with one of my favorites, Zupa Toscana Soup. So here's the lineup of ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe. You're gonna need about a half of an onion, garlic, kale, some Parmesan cheese, about a tablespoon of butter, evaporated milk, chicken broth, sausage, ground beef, and then salt and pepper to season. So to start, I'm gonna add my half a pound of sausage as well as about a pound of ground beef to my skillet over medium to high heat. And I'm gonna crumble that up and cook it until it's brown about five to eight minutes. Once the meat's just about done, I'm going to add half of a diced onion as well as about a tablespoon of garlic. And then next I'm gonna dice up four potatoes. Now I'm going to start adding everything into the crock pot. I'm going to take the meat mixture with the onions and garlic and pour that in. And then I'm going to put in the diced potatoes and then season it well with some salt and pepper. I'm also going to sprinkle in about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Next, I'm going to add two cans of chicken broth. I prefer the low sodium chicken broth, and you wanna make sure you have enough broth to cover the potatoes and meat mixture. If you don't, you can always add in some water, about a cup or two of water, which I have to add in about a cup here to make sure my mixture is covered. And next I'm going to add in about three quarters of a can of evaporated milk and then I'm going to break up about a tablespoon or so of salted butter. I just like to add it for some extra flavor and then I sprinkle in a tablespoon or so of Parmesan cheese. And then I just mix up all of the ingredients really well before I turned on the crock pot. I set mine on low for about five hours. You could also cook this on high for about three to four hours as well. So once my soup was done cooking, I went ahead and added in some kale. I just added in a couple cups of this already pre-chopped kale and then I put the lid on. I set it for high for another 30 minutes. So when I served the soup, I put some Parmesan cheese on top and it turned out so good. The soup is perfect for a cold winter's day. Next is one of my absolute favorite crock pot meals. It's chicken fajita bowls. So here is everything I'm going to use for this meal. I have three chicken breasts, some taco seasoning, some garlic, one lime, a can of tomatoes, half of an onion, some mushrooms, and two bell peppers. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my veggies. I'm going to chop up both of my bell peppers as well as my mushroom and dice up my onion. So now I'm ready to add everything into my crock pot. So I'm going to layer all of my ingredients and then I'm going to repeat that. So I'm going to start with half of a can of my diced tomatoes and then I'm going to top that with part of my bell pepper mixture, my onions and my mushrooms. I'm gonna sprinkle on about a tablespoon or so of fresh garlic. And then I'm going to put my three chicken breasts on top of that. I'm going to sprinkle the taco seasoning on both sides of the chicken breast. And then I'm going to repeat and put the rest of the can of tomatoes and then the, all of the rest of the mixture 
of the chopped veggies and then I'm going to squeeze the one lime that I have all over that mixture. Once I'm done adding everything into the crock pot, I just put my lid on and then I set it on low for five hours. Once everything was done cooking, I just went in with two forks and I shredded all of the chicken breasts. So the way I like to put together my chicken fajita bowls is I start with some cooked rice. You can do white or brown. I have white here. And then I added in some cut up romaine lettuce. And then I added the chicken fajita mixture on top of that. And then I just added us some extra toppings like some cut up avocado, some cheddar cheese. I have some fresh lime that I put on there. And then I put some sour cream. I put a little bit of salsa and then our favorite hot sauce, which is tapatio. Like I said before, this is one of my favorite go-to meals. It's super quick and easy and absolutely delicious. It turned out so good. Now we're going to be making these delicious and easy slow cooker French dip sandwiches. The items you're going to need for this recipe is going to be some seasoning. I just went with Kinder's, which is just a garlic, salt, and pepper mixture. I also have some fresh garlic. I have a can of beef broth, an onion, a packet of au jus gravy mix, a cup and a half of water, and about two to three pounds of either beef chuck roast or a rump roast would work as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is dice up half of an onion. Now that the onion is diced up, I'm going to get everything loaded into my crock pot. So first, before I do this, I'm going to season my meat well with my Kinder's seasoning. And then I'm going to put my diced onion into the crock pot and then put my meat on top of that. Then I'm going to take my cup and a half of water. I'm going to mix my packet of au jus gravy mix in with this. And then I'm going to do about a tablespoon or so of fresh garlic mixed into that. I'm going to pour all of this into the crock pot as well as the can of beef broth. And I went with low sodium beef broth just because I don't need all of the extra salt added in when I'm seasoning my meat already. So once everything is added to the crock pot, I just put the lid on this. I set it on low for about six hours. Once it was done cooking, I just took two forks. I shredded the meat up really easily and then it was ready to serve. So to serve, I just toasted some hoagie rolls with a little bit of butter on them. I put some of the meat mixture and then some provolone cheese with a little bit of the juice. And then on the side, I just had a little bit of mashed potatoes that I put some au jus on them, just like it was a gravy, and then some steamed broccoli. It turned out so good. My entire family loved this meal. So the last but certainly not least meal I'll be making in my crock pot is chili. I know chili and a crock pot, they go hand in hand. It's a very popular way to make chili and I absolutely love it because it always comes out so good no matter what you throw into it. But here are the ingredients I put into my chili. I put about two pounds of ground beef, a can of beef broth, and a can of stewed tomatoes, some tomato paste, half of an onion and some garlic, and some celery, a couple tablespoons of butter, some brown sugar, 
a can of kidney beans as well as a can of chili beans. And then for seasoning, I do some garlic powder, some kinder seasoning, some cumin, some smoked paprika. And then of course you can put chili powder in, but I opted to not do this just because of my kids and they complain of spiciness, so I leave it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my veggies ready to go. So I'm going to dice up three stalks of celery as well as half of an onion. Next, I'm going to get my beef cooked. I'm gonna cook it for about four to five minutes over medium to high heat. And then once that's cooked through, I'm going to add in my diced onion as well as my diced celery. To that, I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon or two of some salted butter. And after I add in my celery and onion, I'm gonna be putting my seasoning in. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon of garlic powder, as well as a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then I'm gonna do about two teaspoons of the Kinder seasoning. And then I'm gonna add in a couple pinches of some kosher salt as well as some ground pepper. And then I'm going to do about two tablespoons of some tomato paste. And then I'm going to mix in a tablespoon or two of some garlic. So now that everything is ready to go, here comes the easy part. We're just gonna dump everything into the crock pot. So I'm gonna pour in my beef mixture with the veggies and the seasoning into my crock pot and then I'm going to add in a can of stewed tomatoes and then I'm going to kind of break up the chunks of tomatoes that were in the can and then I'm going to add in a can of my kidney beans. I'm going to drain that and rinse it well and then I'm going to add in a can of my chili beans as well as a can of some beef broth and again I went with the low sodium on this just because I add in my own seasoning and I don't need that extra salt. And lastly, I add in about a tablespoon of brown sugar. So after I add everything into the crock pot, I give it a good stir and I set it on low for about six hours. When I served this, I just served it with a handful of Fritos as well as a dollop of sour cream and some chopped up green onions on top. This was so good, my kids even loved it and my five-year-old requested it for lunch the next day at school. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you make any of these meals for you and your family, I hope you guys love them just as much as me and my family. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.